Glory to God. The grace of God is sufficient for you. Thank you, thank you. You may have your seat. Glory be to God. So I want to believe that your heart is open for God's word. In all situations, God's word is solution. Sometimes you may receive prophecy, but if you don't know what it means, you may lose the content. You just carry the word. The man of God said, but the content, which is the light that is within the word, you lose it. The scripture said, and the Lord said, let there be light, and there was Listen to me. When we talk about prophecy, it is not necessarily the prophecy that matters, but the content of the word that matters. What is in that word? If the word is void or empty, you may receive a million of them. They will not change your life. Sometimes I hear people say, if I can just receive, no, it's not just about prophecy. If I can receive prophecy, my life will not be the same. So whatever that the Holy Spirit will be doing, they will not mind. All they want is prophecy. No, it is not prophecy. It is not prophecy. But the content of the word matters. If it is about prophecy, I prophesy you, your life will be this, your life will be this, your life will be dead. If that word is void, you may receive a million prophecies, but there shall be no change or difference. You need the light, the light, the light within the word. This light is the power that removes obstacles in your ways. This is the prophet. This is prophecy. But prophecy should have light, which we call the power of God within it. Are you listening? I'm seeing you receiving breakthrough. That brother, there is breakthrough. But before that breakthrough, there is obstacles. Are you listening? They are what? These are obstacles. This is what has been impeding you from being promoted. Not that there's no promotion. There's promotion, but there's something impeding you from being what? That is it. You want a car. Not that there is no car for you. There is, but you cannot get to that car because of the obstacle. Now, prophecy, the word which contains light. This will be spoken. Be blessed. The word will be said. Mm, this is the word. There is light, which is the power of God. Now, it will remove you see? Mm. Breakthrough, breakthrough. I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm blessed, I'm this, I'm that. But if all you want is prophecy, <laughs> you'll be a millionaire, which is a great thing. Yes? If this does not contain light, by the time it arrives here at the obstacle, it will fail to move the obstacle. So you, you can receive a million of this, but if there is no light within it, it's good for nothing. Because at the end of the day, you will give up in God. I've been prophesied over one million times that I'm going to be a CEO. Until today, there's nothing like that. Because what you received is powerless, cannot receive. Remember, 
Satan as well has what we call powers of darkness. In order to overcome powers of darkness, you need the greater power. Greater than the powers of If the power you are under is not over the powers of darkness, forget about Forget about Your Christian life will be tough. It will be all, all about sweat, disappointment, tears, frustration, stress, whatever, 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 whatever. Thank you. God bless. During a prophetic moment, Prophet Cedric was directed to this woman with words of prophecy. Pay attention to what the Spirit of God had to say. Okay. Who is your husband? I'm not married yet. But you know, at home there's trouble with the issue of marriage. Yes, there's spirit of anti-marriage. There's the spirit of anti-marriage. Yes. Mm, thank you. Good morning. My name is Malebo Hobohatu. I am from Brolong, but I reside in Mushupa. I'm here to glorify God about marriage breakthrough and career breakthrough. <laughs> uh, people of God, I'm from a family where there was no marriage at all. Uh, all of my, my mother was not married, and my mother's siblings were also not married. Uh, if I take you back, uh, since that prophecy, it was about, I think, 58 years in my family when there was no marriage. Uh, because during that time when I was given prophecy, my mother was 58 years. So during that time, from since my mother was born, until 2018, there was no marriage in my family. On the 1st of July, 2018, men of God came to me and said, where is your husband? Where is your husband? I'm not married yet. But you know, at home, there's trouble with the issue of marriage. Yes, there's spirit of anti-marriage. There's, there's spirit of anti-marriage. Yes. Mm, thank you. And then I said, I, I'm not yet married. Then he went to continue and say, do you know you are not the only one who has that problem? I confirmed that and then I said, yes, in my family, the spirit of anti-marriage. Since uh, I was born, there was no marriage in my family. Starting from when my mother was born, uh, there was no marriage in my family. Uh, my mother's siblings were also not married. It was only after the prophecy, that was 2018, that's when we started, we started having marriage in my family. <laughs> after that prophecy, immediately after a week, my cousin called the family that he would like to get married. Uh, the family met and all the proceedings were done. Then he got married in December 2018. 2018 December, that was the first marriage in our family. It came only after that prophecy. And then we want to continue. Mine came in November 2019. That was the second marriage after my brother. <laughs> after my marriage, which was in November, a week after my, my other cousin also got married. So it was three marriages after the prophecy. The second, pro the second testimony is about a career breakthrough. People of God have been working since 2010. And from that year until 2019, I've never been promoted. It was what we call automatic progression. But with me, it was supposed to be every two years. But mine came each and every three years. And during that three years, people of God, 
I was transferred from one place to the other, transferred from one place to the other with that little increment. So I got frustrated uh, thinking, why am I being transferred when I'm not given anything? It was only in September when I was called for a written interview. After that written interview, it was about 100 people who went for that written interview. And then later on in November, I was called for an oral interview. That oral interview, it came two weeks after my marriage. Uh, on the 20th November, I was given a letter for promotion that I've been promoted from a programs officer to a senior programs officer. Uh, this is the letter that says, uh, I have the pleasure in, for, in offering you an appointment on promotion and transfer to the Office of Senior Programs Officer uh, on the minimum notch of D4 scale. The promotion will take effect from date of assumption and the post is tenable in, at Moshupa. Here is the pictures of us when we were getting married. Here is me and my husband and our child. Yes. I want to encourage the church by saying God's time is the best. And when it is time, everything looks beautiful. <laughs>